Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will create an angle finder project. We will first define two lines using mouse clicks and then we will find the angle between these lines using simple mathematics. I upload videos on a weekly basis, so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming content. So let's get started. So the idea of today's project is fairly simple. All we are doing is we are getting an angle between two lines. So these lines we will be defining using our mouse. So we will uh, define three different points that will create two different lines and we will find the angle between these two lines. So the first step here is that we find the points where we clicked and the second step is to actually find the angle between these two lines by using a little bit of maths. So let's get started with this. The first thing we will do is we will go to files, we will go to settings, and in the interpreter, we are going to add our OpenCV, OpenCV Python. And the second thing we will need is maths. So maths is already available, so we will not import that. So we will right click here and click on new and Python file. So we will say this is our angle finder. So here we will write import CV2 and then we will write import math. So these are the only two libraries that we require. And the next step we will do is basically importing our image so I have this image I will just copy and I can click on my project and I can just paste it's called test and if I open it up you can see we have a bunch of angles that we can test out so that should be good to go so the first thing we will do is we will add our path our path is basically test.jpg and then we will introduce our image which is cv2.imread and we have to give in our path and uh, then to display this we will simply use the I am show in which we will define our image and then we will say that we want to display the particular image and we will add cv2.wait key and we will add a delay of zero now I think Thing, that should be enough so let's try it out and there we have it so this is the image that we will be using and as you can see we are able to import it properly okay so the next step is to actually get the mouse points now to do this we are going to create a function by the name mouse points and we will call this function whenever the mouse is pressed so we will pass the event argument which will contain the information of the click and uh, if the event is basically left mouse click it will use the values of x and y and we will just print it out so w when we apply it it will not seem as complicated as you might think so um, let's okay let's write the function first so we are importing that is fine let's write it here so we will write define mouse points and we will have an event and we will have x and y and then we have the flags and then we have the parameters okay and then we can say that if in the event we have cv2 dot uh, events underscore left button down uh, left button down yeah so if we have that then we are going to simply print our x and y next we will just point the image and the function to run whenever there is a mouse callback so we are going to write here that cv2 dot mouse callback 
and uh, it's actually set mouse callback and then we will write here that we are referring to our image so this this image and then we will say that whenever it happens we want to run the mouse points so that is it and uh, if we run that and let's move it on the side and whenever we click you can see that we are getting an output of where we clicked uh, within our image so the next step what we can do is we can actually um, create a points list in which we will store all the points uh, that we clicked on so we will introduce here points is equals to empty or should we let's let's call it points list and then we can um, okay so then we can write here that whenever we click we actually want to draw a circle at that point so we can write cv2 dot circle and then we will define our image we want to draw on that and then we have to define the x and y in which we want to draw and then I believe it's radius and then we have the color so let's use red and then we have cv2 dot filled so every time we do that it will uh, color the point red and we want to save it in our points list so we will write here that points list dot append and then we want to append our x and y so we will write here x and y so we can remove this uh, and uh, let's do one thing let's print out the points list so points list and we just want to print it out so let's rerun and there we go so every time I click you can see that it adds on so to create two lines we need actually three points so whenever we have three points so right now as you can see we have one two and three so whenever we have three points we are going to calculate the angle between them so that should give us uh, our angle so if we for example uh, if we want wanted to find the angle between these two lines i will click on the first one which will be our origin which is the center and then i will click on the other edge and the other points or edge so that will give me these th three points but the thing is uh we did put the the circle but it did not appear and the reason for that is that we have to put this in a while loop we cannot just use it like this so we will write here while true and then over here we are going to display this and uh, yeah that should be fine and then we have to change this to one so let's run that and there you go so now you can see we are having these points but one thing we want to do is for example if we are running it and um, we missed out the place so we want to do it again right so we want to clear this so we should have a button to do that so what we can do is we can simply write so we can write here that if cv2 dot wait key is one and we have zero x ff equals ORD and we have the Q key that is pressed then uh, it's actually double equals so then we are going to do something we are going to uh, refresh our points list and we are going to uh, import our image again so we will say that okay let me just copy that from up so we will just 
copy that and we will paste it here so let's run that and I will put some points and if I press Q it deletes everything so there you go and you can see it starts again from zero so this is it for today's video in the next part we are going to create a function to find the angle and we will find the angle based on our gradient and we have that mathematical calculation a little bit of maths involved that we will look into as well so using all of that we are going to find our angles and then we are going to plot it back or we will draw it on our original image and uh, that should be it so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.